Chinese leader visits United Arab Emirates to strengthen ties. The President of China, His Excellency Xi Jinping, visited the United Arab Emirates for a three-day visit to strengthen bilateral relations and discuss regional and international topics. President Xi met with the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi. His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Makom. Agreements were made, including plans for both countries to create a new trade zone in Dubai and announced by a Dubai property developer to build the Middle East's largest Chinatown in the UAE. We laud and congratulate you on your constructive meeting and projects. China and the United Arab Emirates. May all nations join together in cooperation to help improve the lives of their citizens. Rehabilitation program helps ex-gang members in El Salvador, a program called I Change, operated by an evangelical church, supports former gang members in reforming themselves and preparing to return to society in El Salvador. The participants are encouraged to join workshops that offer different activities, such as knitting and painting, as well as commit to special rules that help them in their transformation. According to prison authorities, among the 80 freed inmates who have taken part in the program, almost all of them have continued to live as law-abiding citizens. We very much cherish your motivating rehabilitation program, the Evangelical Church in El Salvador. May your kind efforts continue benefiting many more in becoming productive and positive members of society. Coming up, Nigerian Bank provides free eye tests for those in need. Nigerian Bank helps visually impaired citizens. The First Bank of Nigeria is giving back to the community by providing free vision screening and affordable eyeglasses. The bank is partnering with VisionSpring, a United States-based social enterprise to provide support to low-income earners and students. Executive Director at First Bank, Abdullahi Ibrahim, noted that the corporate initiative seeks to touch the lives of 10,000 people in the first two years while 2,000 individuals across six zones of the country have already benefited from the program. We warmly applaud your caring mission, First Bank of Nigeria and Vision Spring. May you meet your noble goals and more of helping improve the sight of many beautiful children of heaven. Oman to ban supermarket plastic bags. According to Oman's Ministry of Environment and Climate Affairs, the country will soon prohibit the use of plastic bags in supermarkets. A recent online survey conducted by the ministry showed that almost 90% of correspondents agreed to replace plastic bags with reusable or decomposable bags. In highlighting the dangers of plastics, Dr. Sudhir Kumar Shukla of the Caledonian College of Engineering in Oman said, neither the earth nor the ocean can decompose plastic. The only solution is avoidance, just to use cloth and jute bags instead of plastic bags. This small and simple step by us could save millions of innocent creatures, such as dolphins, whales, seals, sea turtles, cows, horses, camels, polar bears, seabirds, etc. Way to go, Oman, for working towards this Earth Protective Measure. May all leaders, organizations, and individuals strive together to make our world a green paradise. Palestinians to boost solar power production to help meet the electricity needs of Palestinian residents of West Bank. The Palestinian Authority's Palestinian Investment Fund, or PIF, proposes to construct three solar farms and install solar panels on 500 public schools. The new solar plants will produce 22 megawatts per day. Over the next six years, a subsidiary of PIF, Maseder, plans to invest 200 million U.S. dollars in sustainable energy to produce another 200 megawatts. We are so glad, Palestinian Authority, to hear of your commitment to provide renewable energy to your lovely citizens. May all people have access to the clean electricity they need 
to have healthy, comfortable, and productive lives. Coming up, new United States vegan company showing much success. Impossible Foods increasing its plant-based production. United States-based vegan food company Impossible Foods has met with resounding success with its vegan meat and burger, which is similar in taste and texture to non-veggie meat. The company plans to double its production to serve customers across the U.S. and Asia. Currently, more than 3,000 restaurants serve Impossible Foods, and the number continues to grow. U.S. pizza chain Fresh Brothers has introduced the plant-based Impossible Pizza, made with Impossible Foods vegan meat and has the option of using non-dairy cheese, while restaurants, including Canadian-based chain Earth Kitchen, is supplementing their menu in Canada and the U.S. with the Impossible Foods burger. And three top hotels in Hong Kong have debuted dishes with the innovative vegan product. Impossible Foods has already raised 144 million US dollars in order to fulfill its future goal of creating plant-based meat and vegan dairy products tailored to each cultural region of the planet. Hooray, Impossible Foods! We can hardly wait to see your spectacular culinary developments as you help Veganize our sweet word one delectable plant-based offering at a time. Best wishes! Rare Przewalski's horses flown to Mongolia. Przewalski's horses Helmi, Hanna, Spez, and Yanja were flown from Prague, the capital of the Czech Republic, to Mongolia as part of a project to return the endangered horses to their original homeland. At first, the horses will stay at the remote Takim Tal Reserve where they will be free to roam. Next year, they will be released to the wild to join the approximately 220 horses living in the Takin Tal Great Gobi B protected area, covering over 9,000 square kilometers. There are currently approximately 2,400 Przewalski's horses in the world, with 800 in the wild, including in Mongolia and in China. We are so happy to hear that these majestic horses are being returned to live with their fellow equines in freedom. Much gratitude all involved in planning and carrying out this wonderful endeavor. We wish Helmi, Hanna, Spez, and Yanja a future filled with unlimited gallops and immense happiness with new friends in heaven's love. <laughs>